Howdy, partner. You like my new hat? Hi, guess what? It's Gina and we're going on another vlog adventure. We're currently on the road to Edmonton purposely for content. That's one, what, one of my favorite things that we do, Kyle, is we go out of town and we make content. It's very um, busy. We have an Airbnb booked for the time that we're there. I have costumes bought. I got this new hat today and we picked up a few other costumes at the store today before we left. I've got bikinis, I've got different outfits. Um, so anyways, we're about to go to this really nice little Airbnb and have a great week. I think we're gonna go to Overclocked. I remembered my keyboard and my mouse this time. Uh, I'm also going to get my tattoo finished this trip. So this time I'm gonna take you to the tattoo shop with me as well. I think, Kyle, have you ever been in there? I have been in there, yes. Okay, it's actually, if you've never been to Capital Tattoo in Edmonton, it's a beautiful uh, tattoo place, and they have some really amazing artists there, so I'll take you there with me. I'm getting my moth tattoo finished. Uh, so I'm really excited about this trip. We're hoping to get a lot of content out of this trip. Not just vlog content, but other content too. <laughs> You're racing? I'm racing. And singing. I didn't even realize it was recording, by the way. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the AC works. It's so pretty in here. Look at it. Doesn't it look pretty? Okay, let's bring the stuff in and then we'll do a, a tour. Figure out where we're gonna film. <laughs> Get it, cowboy. <laughs> oh my God, my thighs might be too thick. Cause I got the extra small. Oh, you wanna be a cowboy, isn't it? See them cheeks in the mirror though. All right, house tour. All right, this is the house tour. How much was the one next door? We looked up the house next door, which looks like maybe they built them side by side or something, like identical builds. Like 700,000 Canadian. The house is nice. Location, I would not pay that much for a house in this location, but that's me personally. I'm not a city dweller, okay? So, but the house is gorgeous. The house is so gorgeous. You wanna have a look? Here's the main living room. Nice little fireplace over here. See? Down here. How nice. We have a nice little dining room table here. This kitchen is so nice though. I really love the dual tone in the kitchen. I personally don't necessarily like white and black. But this is nice. I like it. This is probably one of my favorite things. I wish we had a mud room of like something similar to this. A mud room would be nice, just cause, not just the kids, but also me. Like, I'm messy. There's a little bathroom back there, you don't need to see that. Let's go upstairs. Come on, Kyle. You look like that girl from Toy Story. Oh my You're... god, am I Jessie right now? Yeah, cause I think she wears like chaps and a cowboy hat, doesn't she? Now, we're in the second part of this house, the upper story, the second story. There's two bedrooms here. Twins, identical, but like flipped. I'm trying to manifest this into our next house, is that on the same level as the bedrooms is a laundry room wow. with a utility sink. Like, please. I have never thought a utility, you have to, like, there you go. Wow. <laughs> wow. So wet. Wow. And then the main bedroom. I really like this one. It's got lots of nice, pretty light in here. So I'm probably gonna, and the bathroom. I'm excited about this tub because every time we come to Edmonton, we stay in a hotel that 
actually doesn't have a hot tub and there's no tub. And Kyle and I like to have our baths. Look, it's got a big soaker tub. Are you gonna soak with me? Wow. Wait. I made a glass cage in my bubble shape. Wait. <laughs> I made a glass cage in my bubble shape. <laughs> if you don't know what that reference is from, then I feel sad for you. Ron. Where are you? Oh, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Anyways, this is a whole top portion of a two-story house. I don't know if they, what they do with the basement. The basement is locked. We can't get down there, which is okay. This is plenty of room for what we gotta do. So. What if they're in the basement? Then happy birthday. We we be doing banging. Um, listen, like. What if we came just to bang? They said there was no parties allowed, but it's not a party, we're just banging. Now giddy up your ass downstairs. <laughs> um, What's going on here? Uh, nothing. Um, well, I had a nice shower, Kyle had a nice bath, I got ready, I still am missing some lipstick and some assless chaps, but it's go time, basically, that's what that means. <laughs> How's this? Wow. You like that? She's gotta lose the underwear now. <laughs> That'd be later, obviously. <laughs> Ass just hanging out. <laughs> is it nice? Is it very nice? The Catalina Ranch, isn't that the... Not the Catalina, it's fucking Catalina wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I... phase one. Phase one. Good morning. It is technically like day one and a half because we only got here at like 4 p.m. last night but I've got lots of outfits I basically packed almost my whole closet not that much but a lot um, I'm gonna get ready I'm just drinking my frappuccino from Starbucks normally I would drink something hot but we grind in smut today so <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, yeah stay tuned for outfit updates cuz I brought some really cute outfits <laughs> Right now, we're gonna do a little tattoo tour. I've never done one of those before. I've had a tattoo ever since I could get one at the age of 18, and I'm 35 this year, and I've never really talked about my tattoos before. So, welcome to the tattoo tour. First, we've got the little bat on my sternum. He doesn't have a name. He's a couple years old now, but it was really important to me not to cover up this scar over here, which is kind of another story I think and then this is the one I'm going to this week to have it finished by Jessica a capital tattoo we're gonna do some shading in here my oldest tattoo is this little guy over here he used to only be like really small and then I eventually had the wings added to kind of make it like frame my ass um, and then we've got this black and gray tattoo starting with my favorite breed of cats which is Devon Rex there's a bunch of pretty flowers and nice framework and shapes that are just real pretty. And then we have another little bat over here. This is Brucey. He's real cute. He's kind of like hiding in a flower. More shapes. I forgot to talk about the key, but it's kind of hidden in there. That one was a before tattoo. Then we've got a spider and a web. And then over here, we got a little moth and a crescent moon. It's real cute. And then on this side, this is my alien sleeve. This was done by Jenna Coffin, a capital tattoo. We've got E.T. over here, and she's on the phone and it says Martian Attack. Then we've got Beam Me Up with some cool ALF action while he's like beaming up some kitties. I guess he's a little bit hungry. Um, on this side, this used to be a heart, but now I've got an alien with these cool wings. I've got another Devon Rex kitty over here on a UFO, or UAP is what they're called now, I guess. Then I've got a little alien pinup girl over here. She's kind of like supposed to represent me, question mark, but like not directly, just she's cool and fun and has blue hair. And then I've got this candy heart over here that says Proben, which is the exact same as my license plate on the Mustang, but has, you know, Proben. <laughs> Aliens. And then I have legs. So, this foot over here, this was supposed to be my Japanese sleeve. It actually had a piano on my foot that turned into a cover-up. We've got the koi fish and the chrysanthemum. This is probably one of my older tattoos as well. And then up here on my thigh, I've got another fish and um, a lotus flower. I'm not 100% happy with this leg and I don't know what to do. That's why I've never touched it in a really long time. So I moved on to this leg. Um, this is all done by Jenna Coffin at Capital Tattoo as well. She does her signature knife series that are 
theme based. This one is like a sweet treat theme based knife. Got like a little ice cream donut, cute little boonie. Uh, then we've got the Ooh Woo Girl. That was my last tattoo actually that I had by her. And then this big bad boy up here is a split face with the skull in the middle and the little devil guy. I can't remember what his name was. He was actually based off a cartoon. Was it like He Devil or something? I'm probably wrong, but this one's pretty cool here. I love the color in that one. But yeah, that's it. That's the tattoo tour. <laughs> Hi, Tile. I'm currently live on Twitch right now. I don't normally do that, but here we are, live on Twitch. Kyle's also vlogging. I'm pretty much almost ready. I just need some lipstick, and then I'm probably gonna take some photos. This is a villain though, right? This isn't a superhero. It's a villain. You like it? I'm kind of scared. You what are you venom? scared of? My cock. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna bite your cock. I might suck it. I'll spot it, man. That's how I'm gonna show outfits from now on. Do the thing. So yeah, I just took some photos in this one, and then I'm actually about to get changed. It's like new outfit time. <laughs> Spider Man ain't shit. Oh. Hi. Whoa. Walking out. <laughs> tattoo day. It's tattoo day. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know you were coming. Once you have had hair, you have to continue to wear the hat. Do the thing! <laughs> Overclocked gaming. Our favorite place to visit when we're here. We probably visit here more than like anything else when we're here, to be honest. I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Today, my mom. Hey, my reflection. When I look at you, all I see is perfection. I'm so depressed, and I don't know the reason. Just hope I feel better. Don't know the reason. Just hope I feel better. I just hope I feel better. You said that you love me. Don't know if it's still true. Hate it when you're not here. Love it when I'm with you. You say you don't trust me. All the shit we've been through. Why you always upset? I don't really get you. I don't really get you. Why should I always gotta be so stressful? Baby, can you tell me why are you so vengeful? I don't understand you. I can't live without you, but I can't fucking stand you. I'm just so obsessed. I should take better care of myself, but fuck it. Blacked out in public, on that like she upset, but I know she loves it. I hate my reflection, and I look at you, all I see is perfection. <laughs> the vagina area. <laughs> Hi, Lex. Lex, do that cool thing where you make the camera do like a 360 and you go, wow. <laughs> So far, it's been good. She's got some back teen on her now. She's probably gonna hit me with some whites. If you've ever been tattooed, you know that the whites are like the the knife at the end, basically. The whites are always the worst part, but this is back teen, so it's probably gonna be easy. Easy? Question mark? She called me a sandwich. She's like, you're a sandwich now. With my wrap. How's it feel? 
feels fine. The back team, like, feels like nothing right now. Just like pressure, basically. That's the way. The whites, though. I, the whites, even no, though I have been, Because it's, that's subconscious, though, too. It's because it's the last thing I'm doing. So you're like, yes. I know this is going to suck. Well, also because I know all the skin is like freshly wounded, yeah. and then it's very like targeted. Let me just go back in there with the first thing <laughs> yeah. and poke around where I'm where poked around. Yeah. I've had a lot of clients that are like, we don't need white. I'm like, yeah, you you're probably right. But I mean, like, why? 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 It's, it is worth it, absolutely. It's all done. It's all done. Look at it. It's just bleeding out right now, though. That's a normal part of the process. Don't be scared. It's good. I mean, this, sh this shit will clean it, like it's antiseptic, so mm. if anything, it's probably good for your tattoo. Okay? Yep. You ready? <laughs> Dang, nice tits. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? I got no drip in my ground pond. It's wet, like me, okay? No track rental today, it rained. Which is kind of sad because we we're gonna go to the track, but instead we're doing the next best thing, which is visiting Velu Village, my favorite little boutique, little French boutique, right there. It doesn't look like much, but uh, sometimes we find some gems in there, and I'm really excited about it. So, go! Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, really, don't worry. I don't want no Burberry glowing like the sun, or maybe a little Mercury shooting like a book, but nobody ever heard of me. You don't got I have a weird obsession with like knit blankets when I find nice ones. This one's got the same color as my shoes in it. <laughs> so, um. And then? And then I have a bunch of colored denim here. I don't know if there's a change room or not, because I would like to try them on. And then this really cute jacket. It's basically like a. Yeah, you're just finding gems. I didn't find anything at first, but I need to try it on the pants. Hershey Kiss shorts? Underwear? Silk boxers? But like this jacket right here is really cute. You can't really see it, but it's cute. I want to try it all on, but I don't know. It's a hat. Big sad. Let's try it on over my... Try it on over your thing. Whatever. my leggings, I guess. Boop. Do they look cute? Yeah. Guess what? Valley Village number two. What are we gonna find? I don't know yet. What are you looking for? Anything specific? I wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. So here's all the junk we already got. Now we're going home. I'm taking my new fur baby home with me. <laughs> Look, it's a boss. Looks like Georgie. Now we gotta go get some fuel. Grab up. <laughs> Why am I so close? Okay, now we gotta go get some fuel and then we're gonna start our long drive home. It's a very long drive. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. But it's okay. I'm excited to be home and see our real fur baby. Gaming at your own PC tonight. You know, I just shoved this shit in here with the rest of the <laughs> <laughs> shit. We're home now, and I'm just going through all my stuff in, you know, the magical brown paper bags from Velu Village, and I'm really excited about what I got, so. I'm thinking maybe I'll do a haul video. What do you think? Maybe. Uh, but this jacket, like I could not walk away from it. Like, I don't know why. I looked it up and it's likely sheep. Like, I'm a sheep. You're a sheeple. So I already can, in my head, see like the sluttiest photo shoot with this nice fur coat. And trickle wow wow. 
But anyways, thanks for coming along on a ride with us. It was so fun. Sad we didn't get to go to the track, but we did get some quality Voluvillage time, so that was great. So mm -hmm. it was really fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All the other stuff that I made will be posted elsewhere, obviously not here. So anyways, I don't have an outro PCs to get that V thing, but have a good one.